Do you want to get into leopard geckos? Is this your first reptile? Come join me as I share with you my care video for 2020, how to raise these amazing reptiles. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up my leopard gecko enclosure. And I, for those of you that have not joined my channel or don't know what I do, my name is Jaren and I am from Snake Royale TV. And I also have a Facebook page if you guys want to join that. You can go check it out at Jaren's Exotic Reptiles. So today, as you guys saw in the title, I'm going to be sharing with you how I set up my 40 gallon leopard gecko reptile enclosure. Now, as you see here, I got a 40 gallon ZooMed Repti Habitat. Uh, I got it at my local rep, um, pet store. And um, it came with pretty much everything you need to get started. Uh, I'm using the Repti carpet uh, for my leopard gecko. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a small substrate of uh, Eco Earth or eco floor um, right here and it's loose coconut fiber substrate so in case um, I don't want to damage their toes because I know their toes are very sensitive so I'm just gonna kind of line a small section um, for them so that their toes don't get hurt uh, what you're also going to need is you're going to need at least three hides for leopard geckos because they do like to hide a lot um, typically they will come out during the early brisk mornings and sometimes midnight because they are nocturnal animals so um, as you can see in the middle there I have a humidity hide for them with some sphagnum moss uh, and that is misted regularly so in case they need to shed or um, just find shelter they can go in there to hide I also have their uh, feeding bowl and I also have their water dish which I haven't filled it up just yet because I have not put them in and I also have a digging um, area because I know um, leopard geckos like to dig so this is just a basic uh, kitchen uh, container that I got at one of my local fast food restaurants you could use those you don't have to get too fancy and you're also going to need a UVB uh, light at top so that they can get uh, their enrichment for their calcium and you're also going to want to um, you're gonna want to kind of cover their enclosure a little bit uh, so on the outside over here I just did a basic um, Christmas wrap because it was just Christmas recently you don't have to get too fancy just make sure that it's covered so that it cannot see in and that kind of gives a little bit more stability on your reptiles so they feel more safe and enclosed. Uh, you're also going to want to get some decorations for um, enhancements and enrichments. Uh, I haven't got them yet, I just basically got the cage, but I will add those soon. And you could take a look at the updated cage on the Facebook page when I post that. But you're going to want to get some like leaves, um, some branches, because they, they do like to climb a little bit. They're not fully arboreal creatures but they will climb a little bit and uh, it also just brings a little bit of aesthetics into your into your closure. Um, as far as enclosure sizes go, um, leopard geckos can do fine in a 20 gallon uh, as the bare minimum. Uh, as they get bigger, uh, you'll want to move them into a 40 gallon is my recommendation. Uh, a lot of YouTubers also recommend that uh, if you're going to get multiple leopard geckos, do not house them together. Uh, there is a saying that you could put two females together, but I kind of agree with the others that they say that you should not cohabitate them because uh, they could fight or they could get, uh, danger themselves. And usually leopard geckos are solitary animals. So um, I have two right now inside the 40 gallon up there. Uh, that's Moki and Shasta, but I'm going to be moving Shasta down here because 
uh, I just want to play it safe so um, let's see as far as other aesthetics uh, you don't need to necessarily get a nocturnal infrared because it does mess up their night cycles um, a UVB is fine just make sure you have it on for at least eight hours throughout the day to simulate um, a day cycle and a night cycle you're also going to want to get a under the tank heat mat which you can see right there I have it hooked up right there and it's also hooked up to a thermostat you will need a thermostat uh, to regulate the temperatures and you want to get um, either a heat gun uh, and some thermometers just for extra security to know that the heat is not getting too high you can never always really um, trust the digital thermometers or these little thermometers that you see at pet stores so for any reptile owners you definitely want to have a infrared heat gun so that way you can check how hot the uh, hot side is typically um, right now it's winter but uh, typically you want to have your enclosures at about roughly 70 to 90 degrees on the hot side and no less than 70 on the cool side uh, that's a typical gradient that I recommend for uh, leopard geckos and um, as far as care goes they're really easy to take care of they're kind of low maintenance um, with the one the few things that you just have to look out for is uh, just droppings clean them up regularly if you see them uh, also as far as feeding goes uh, I feed my geckos mealworms uh, I do feed them about every other day and roughly I'll feed them um, about six to eight mealworms per feeding uh, the basic rule of thumb is as, as many as you can feed them within the three minute time frame um, and they'll let you know when they're full they, they'll stop feeding um, also you want to keep make sure that their water dish is clean at all times because they will like to um, drink uh, water daily and they might swim in it a little bit once in a while or they might splash around um, but as far as as far as like basic maintenance care um, make sure that uh, you just uh, give them about a week or two before you start handling them just with any other reptile or animal you want them to get used to their new enclosure you don't want to handle them too quickly because they could get spooked or feel intimidated um, as far as like uh, dropping tails too I've heard that some uh, youtubers or other reptile owners say that oh their leopard gecko lost their tail uh, they do grow back um, but they're not the same as the natural tail because the bone has basically disappeared on that tail when it dropped uh, so it won't have its naturalistic uh, um, attributes like the shakes that you see when it's chasing um, a cricket or a mealworm it'll just kind of be like a nub uh, but yeah this is going to be your basic basic setup um, this probably costed me roughly around uh, 300 um, but this is a like I said this was a kit from Zoomed so um, there are many options out there for you guys uh, again as I said in the beginning of the video they're very ideal very easy uh, beginner um, reptiles to get into in the reptile world um, great for families and uh, yeah this is uh, this is going to be my second enclosure um, and if you guys are regulars on the channel, I, as you guys know, I moved on from the world of snakes. Uh, I just felt like uh, it wasn't my calling anymore. And plus, I'm still living in my father's house, so he's not too very keen on on uh, having snakes in the house. But that's okay. Uh, but if you guys want more updates and um, tips, uh, definitely check out my Facebook page. I'll go ahead and put that in the description area and once again it is Jaren's Exotic Reptiles uh, I do post some content on there regularly or when I can um, I also like to attend the um, reptile shows that they have I think there's a couple out there like Repticon in Long Beach and uh, the Reptile Super Show that goes on in January and July usually from in, uh, in uh, Anaheim and Pomona but unfortunately, due to the coronavirus, um, all the shows have, excuse me, have been canceled, unfortunately. Um, 
but they will resume uh, when things get safer and uh, back to normal. So without further ado guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was just a small um, setup and uh, care guide what I use for my leopard geckos. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, definitely feel free to put them in the comments section and I'll try to get to them as best as I can. Uh, this is the Snake Royale TV and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace and Happy New Year 2021.